We begin with that breaking news. Good evening to you. I'm Kirsten O'Connor, and we are so happy you're with us tonight. Aaron Luna has the night off. Washington's governor says all of his emergency orders will be dropped by the end of October. Jordan Smith joins us now with why Governor Inslee made this decision, Jordan. Well, Kirsten, this comes at a time where COVID infections and hospitalizations have begun to level out. Governor Inslee said earlier today he believes Washingtonians have the necessary tools in place to protect themselves from the virus as vaccines are widely available and treatment for infections have improved. This announcement comes after a grueling 900 day stretch from the very first infection here in America. Uh, I'm confident now that we have reached a significant milestone in the COVID effort. Governor Inslee made a major announcement Thursday afternoon, bringing an end to the remaining COVID-19 emergency orders by October 31st. We do have some more work to do against COVID. The effort against COVID will continue but the necessity of an emergency order in order to accomplish those, those mission statements is no longer necessary. It's news many Washingtonians have been longing to hear. Since the very first U.S. infection was confirmed in Seattle 961 days ago. A Washington state resident fell ill after returning from Wuhan, China, where the outbreak began. That infection would be the first of millions across the United States, forcing states to make quick decisions with little information to go off of. One month later, Governor Inslee would enact a statewide COVID-19 state of emergency. Over the next two and a half years, uh, I uh, exercise the authority granted by the legislature to issue 85 emergency orders to save lives in the state of Washington. It would prove to be a grueling battle. Washington battled high infection percentages, overflowing hospitals, and exhausted health care staffs. But as more Americans received vaccinations, infections, and hospitalizations began to drop off. Four months after vaccines were approved for children aged 5 to 11, Washington lifted indoor masking requirements. By June of this year, the first rescission of COVID-19 emergency proclamations had begun. There still are some COVID regulations that will continue. State workers are required to still be vaccinated. And as these emergency orders come to an end, new data has revealed Washington had the top five lowest death rates when it came to COVID-19 in the U.S. Reporting in the studio tonight, I'm Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.